we are painting 10 different flowers and flower related scenes in spring series this is the ninth painting in the series the reference photo and the sketch needed for this painting is available as a link in the description you can download those image from that pinterest link and you can use it for your painting after sketching i wet the background of the flower I mixed emerald green with equal amount of violet which is in coffee consistency. I use it to pour on the wet watercolor paper. I allow the pigment to flow by tilting the board. I just want to paint the background by using pouring technique with watercolor instead of using my brush. Again, I'm pouring even more pigment to the wet paper and I'm moving the board in all directions so that the pigment can flow in all the areas. Be ready with the old cloth or uh, tissue so that you can wipe out any uh, flow of pigment outside the watercolor paper i'm using my round brush to define the perfect outline of the flower Wipe the excess water or the pigment that is collected near the tape using a cloth or tissue to avoid back run. The pigment didn't reach the top layer of the background so I used my brush to apply the color on those parts. The paper is still wet in that area so it doesn't form any hard edges. Again I am using my round brush to define the outer edges of the flower at the top part of the flower. Whenever you see the pigments collected near the edges of the tape, use a cloth or a tissue to wipe all those excess pigment 
to avoid the formation of cauliflower effect. So this is a white daisy flower. Uh, we are going to add some um, pigment to the flower for its shadow part. I am using the same pigment which I use for the background but it is in diluted form. So we get a pale blue color for painting the shadows of the flower. Here I am speeding up the video to reduce the size of the video. To paint the shadow part you have to use the reference photo to understand where the shadow is present and where is the white area. You have to leave the white area as the paper white and you have to paint only the shadow part of the flower. After painting the petals, next using sap green we are painting the stem. Using Gambo Jello, I paint the center part of the flower. Next, using orange, I paint one half of the center part as shown in the video. Next, using light red color, I paint the edges of that oval shape as shown in the video. Next we are painting the shadow of the pollens on the petal using the same color which we use for the background. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you like this video give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. See you in another video. Until then take care and this is Prema signing off. Bye bye.